Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 Work. And today we got a call for an accident, a semi, a little Chevy pickup, and a Volkswagen bug. Uh, the semi rear-ended the truck, and the truck kind of T-boned the bug. So, I think that's how it is from... What they explained to me, that's how it looks. So, we got the big Kenworth here. We got the little GMC roll-off. And then we got the peat behind the roll-off, or the GMC. And the GMC is going to pull the truck and the bug back. Hopefully. We don't know if it will or not. But we got fire on scene, and we got police on scene. So, they got it all taken care of, hopefully. And I don't think anyone got too injured or too hurt. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, there's nothing like that. And no one got taken to the hospital or worse, they died. So, hopefully none of that happened. And, uh, yeah. So, it is actually up here in... Oh, gosh, that truck came up a lot faster than I thought it was. But, it's up here in this town... I don't know what, I think this is Brook or something, I don't remember the name of this town, but it's up here. Whoa, that plane is flying really low. Wow. It's like it was done to bomb the animal plant or uh, livestock yard. Wow. But they do think... Okay, sorry about that, I don't remember exactly what I was talking about, but it is on a hill where the truck was coming from, the semi, and the little Chevy pickup. So they think the rain was a tribute to the accident and, excuse me, uh, they do think the driver of the semi is under some influence of either a drug or alcohol. They don't know exactly what yet, uh, but they do think that can be or is one of the uh, things about this case that is caused this so we got fire in the police here so then I just pull up onto this little berm here with the big truck and then the GMC can actually stay right here I don't think they're gonna have to do anything special with the oh wait we're not a police officer Austin all right and we're gonna just move the semi over here and uh, this little area because this is what we're gonna pull the trailer back with Just leave the parking lights on on that. All right, so oh, there's these brush truck, police, and other fire trucks. All right, we'll just talk to this one. What the heck? Hello, sir. How are you doing today? Good. Yep. All right. So, is there anything I need to know specifically about this accident or anything involved before I move it or anything? Nope. Is all the vehicles alright to be driven a little bit to be moved onto either onto the bed or position to hook it up? Nope. Alright. So, is there anything specific you need uh, me to do for this or no? Was there? Okay. There isn't? Alright. So, one thing. Was there any casualties or anything like that? No? Alright. So, the plan is to put the little red truck on the GMC bed and the little blue car on the little boom on the GMC tr car then I brought a semi I don't know if you saw that and we'll hook that up to the trailer and take that as well and store all in our yard so all right thank you all right so there wasn't any casualties these are some awesome fire trucks I like the lights on those all right so yeah it looks like the Chevy here was waiting at the stop sign for the 
car to go, and then he was on a go, but this truck ended up rear-ending him. Uh, that sucks. Doesn't make for a good day, I guess. Um, I think right like that'll work for a screenshot. Alright, so for the bug, we're gonna actually move it over out of the way. Okay. We're gonna move this up into position. We wanna get this cleared as soon as we can. So we can open up the road again. Well, not me, the police. Alright. Alright, so the little bug will just be brought over here for the time being. And then we'll hook it onto the rear of our car. Or the tow truck. And this we'll actually pull straight on. I forgot I wanted to do that one. This one like this. And hopefully that semi will be able to fit up onto our bed of the Kenworth. Alright, perfect. Just gonna move it into place. We're gonna move the boom out and just kind of lift it right like that. You guys couldn't see that very well, but. This thing does seem to have a little bit of problems after the accident, it seems. But I'm not sure I'm not the owner of it. It did have a little bug like that, but we ended up selling it when we moved over to this map. Alright. Gotta turn it off. And turn on the beacon, or the uh, hazards, since we are pulling it. And we shouldn't have any problems with it turning or anything. Still have our full turning radius of this truck. And we're going to have to take multiple uh, trips back and forth for this. So it's not going to get done in one go. We know that for sure. All right. This will just kind of pull it facing that way. Start rolling the bed back. And lowering it. I wish this had a boom on it. This Kenworth. wish it had a little boom on it. But it doesn't. That wheel looks messed up. Oh yeah, both those wheels are messed up. Ooh, hopefully we can get that off, off of there. Ooh, this is very tight for this. Alright, hopefully we don't have any clearance problems with anything. Hazards are on. Perfect. Alright, now for that little trailer, that's gonna be a pain to get off. Oh, there goes the semi down the road with a big John Deere excavator. That's actually really cool. Alright. Okay, let's see. Then I have to just bump it enough to where we can get a truck under it. Alright, so I moved the truck down here. It was actually a much or, or much more pain in the butt to get down. So, but most of the trucks and police left. There's just two that stayed to make sure we got everything out of here perfectly fine. So we're going to take this truck real quick out there and or back to home base. And then we'll come and get everything else in a separate uh time not in a separate video it'll all happen in this video but they want to make sure that the trailer is safe but 
there's nothing in it, so I don't know what's worth about it, except for the trailer. But everything is going to be in our yard. Uh, this truck won't be inside the shop, but the Chevy and the uh, little bug will be inside, away from the elements. Uh, but they said if we can fit this truck in there, we can, but it's not. They don't want it to be inside it. They don't need it to. They don't really care about it either. So, we'll just find somewhere to place it, hopefully. We'll just leave it on the bed at first once we get there. But it is almost nighttime here, so hopefully we can make everything... Uh, or get everything there before it goes completely dark. So, okay, that was kind of bad, but this is actually really cool looking. I don't know why, but it is. Oh well. But I'm so glad this truck fit up on this bed. We didn't make measure anything. We didn't do anything like that to make sure it would fit. So. I am really glad it did. If it didn't, we would have had to go get a semi and uh, put it up on a bed of that like that. And then we would have just used this for one of the cars, so we wouldn't have had to tow it. But it'll work how we got it, hopefully. So. I'm going to actually finish taking this there, and I'm going to skip the driving for everything else, probably. So, I'll just meet you guys back at the shop once I get everything there. Okay guys, so we got the little Chevy in here, we got the bug, so that's all we're gonna fit in here, we might move their truck into over there, but for now it'll just stay, it's actually right over here. Their trailer's right there, and then the truck is right here, so that is uh, that, and oh, we gotta put the GMC up still, oh, oh I'm tired, alright, so that is going to be it for today, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. And roll the outro.